okay? And her name is a Chef Mary Lou Davis. She is the runner-up of the most recent season of Hell's Kitchen. That's season 19. Yeah. So everybody, please join me in welcoming Miss Mary Lou. Yes. It's an honor. Hi. Hi. Hey. How's it going? It's good. It's going good. How are you? Oh, uh, I'm great. I just I went, I worked out, and my legs feel like linguine right now. So <laughs> leg day. Day. never <laughs> skip leg day. Never skip leg day. It hurts so bad. It's oh, worth I know. it. So good. That's the worst. <laughs> when your legs feel all like spaghetti noodles and oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the worst. <laughs> Absolute worst. But that's thank you so much for joining us today, Mary yes. Lou. It's a pleasure. Uh, I'm a big fan personally. Thank you yes. so much. Love you. <laughs> Love you. So, um, I mean, pretty much everybody knows who you are, but just you know, tell them a little bit more about yourself, just a little behind the scenes, you know, action. All right. Um, I'm Mary Lou. I was on season 19 of Hell's Kitchen. I'm the runner up. I was the one with the purple hair and the big personality. Yes. Uh, yes. A lot of jokes, a lot of, a lot of side comments. I think <laughs> when you first see me on there, you don't really pay that much attention, except for the fact that I have really colorful hair. And then as it starts going on, you're like, this bitch can actually do something. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like she cool. can cook. Okay, y'all. Okay. It's not just purple hair. She can cook. Yeah. Exactly. And before you joined us, we were able to play your intro too with a few clips of you from the show. And yeah, you are definitely captivating. You are definitely great and ready for film. <laughs> definitely. <Wow. laughs> the producers, so. they really liked me just because it was just easy. Because they're like, Mary. Tell me how today went. I'm like, all right, let's go. <laughs> right. Okay. So let me put it all out on the table. If y'all want to know, let's go. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I love that. So uh, one of my first questions is, I got to know, it's a two-parter, just a two-parter right here. So okay. first, what was your most memorable Hell's Kitchen moment? And then what was your most memorable Chef Ramsay moment? Um, my most memorable Hell's Kitchen moment is when we were riding on the snowmobiles. I've never ridden on snowmobiles. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm up in Tahoe, you know, I was over there counting the black people and I was like, do we do this? And they're like, this is snowmobile. <laughs> so I'm over there just like having the, the best fucking time. I like slid off a little bit. They didn't show that part, but a little bit. <laughs> and then my most memorable uh, uh, Chef Ramsey time, it's when I won the black jacket and so he hadn't seen all the energy that I have because usually we'll see him in the kitchen. I'm very calm and I just run around. Mm -hmm. And so when mm -hmm. I ended up winning, I think I like jumped up three feet and I like smacked his hand. And then after that, he was just like, whoa, whoa. And he kept calling me <laughs> a pocket rocket. Pocket rocket. <laughs> yeah. He was like, Mary Lou, what a pocket rocket. And I was like, I got a lot of energy. So I got excited. <laughs> I mean, as you should have been. When you won that first black jacket, I was just like, okay, that's my girl. She Ooh, got it. Validated. Oh. <laughs> Love it. Absolutely. So I also want to know, in your opinion, what makes the perfect dish? Ooh. What makes the perfect dish? That's really good. There are like four components that have to be in the perfect dish. And you need salt, fat, acid, and heat. And there's there's a whole book based off of it. And it's so true. You make something, you have those four components, that's always going to be a great dish. Solid. That's awesome. So I'm taking notes too, because uh, I'm not a chef personally, but I just love cooking. It makes me feel so happy. <laughs> 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 like it's you're supposed to put all of your love and all of your emotion into your food. And it just yeah. it's supposed to calm you down and make you happy. Exactly. Go. I don't know. I don't know if this is how it is with you guys, but for me, it's like I love cooking for people. I love it. But when it comes down to like eating my own food, sitting down there, and you know, and I just can't. I rather enjoy, you know, watching people enjoy my food. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Okay. I thought I was weird. <laughs> I cook for myself sometimes, and usually when I'm cooking for other people, I take more like care and consideration to it. But when I'm cooking for myself, okay. I was like, it's supposed to reduce for 20 minutes. I'm hungry now. I'm just going to eat it. <laughs> exactly. I'm not going to let it reduce okay. for 20 minutes. <laughs> there you go. Cool. I got a couple questions, too, for you. Um, so how intimidating was uh, uh, Ram Chef Ramsey? Oh my gosh, he was so intimidating. Oh, and he's no. freaking tall. He's like yeah. six foot three and his feet are like size 16 shoe. I was like, Oh, 16. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> just freaking huge. And it's just, he's just very daunting, but he just carries himself around with like this, this swagger and this elegance. And when he's plating things, everything is so effortless. And I was like, Are you, are you a walking symphony? Yes. <laughs> right now. Wow. You know, I'm like, walking music. 
That's awesome. So I got another question before we uh, take it off to homie. I think Jasmine has some other questions as well. Oh yeah, but, um, I can, do. Can, can you give I like a, a simple recipe, you know, that uh, someone can make at home, something with everyday products in their fridge? Am I supposed to like spit it out right now? I mean, I don't know, maybe. I, mean, I, I could, I, could. <laughs> I just wanted to know. Okay, so um, something What's your that- What's go-to? <laughs> all the time, my go-to recipe I make is like cazio e pepe and it's like cheese and pasta and butter and pepper and it just mm-hmm. gets me throughout my day. But it's all about how you're putting all the ingredients in. So you have to use the leftover pasta water cause it's very starchy and it's gonna like make the sauce that you yeah. need for your butter. And then I throw in some lemon. Thick. Some cheese. I cut up some uh, cherry tomatoes because I'm always rolling with cherry tomatoes, Ooh. butters, and cheese. Like it's always in my pantry, and I throw That's all that together, and it's it's just good. Some fresh cracked pepper and some red pepper mm. flakes because I like it. Yes, yeah, spicy. <laughs> That's easy. yeah. That's thank you very much. It's a it's a pleasure once again to have you on here. Oh, thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Definitely. Yeah. So uh, real quick, Mary Lou, uh, we got a lot of uh, listeners that are beginner chefs, beginner cooks, um, and some of them would like to get into culinary arts. Um, what what would be the best way a beginner, you know, in, in the most layman terms you can, <laughs> how can a beginner get into the culinary arts? Do they have to go to school or what can they do? There's like a big debate about this and the whole culinary community. Um, one of my best friends, he never went to school. He just jumped in the kitchen, but I went to school and oh. I think it could go either way, but how you should start is you should just go to a restaurant that you like and that you like to eat and just work with that chef and figure out, Hey, I like doing this. Do I want to spend my money and go to school and learn the fundamentals and learn the basics? Then go on ahead and jump in that. But the first step is just go to a restaurant that you like and try to work there. Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm a big believer in that too. You know, I'm telling everybody like my, even my younger sister, I'm like, if you want to get into business, you don't need an LLC, an EIN. You need to start it. You need to figure it out. And if it works, then you got yourself a business, honey. So that's great. Yeah. And I'm definitely on board with that, Mary Lou. And then my last question too. um, So being a culinary artist, you know, being, being a chef, um, food is a big part of your day. Um, Kind of like how Julio was curious on how to make a quick dish. I'm looking for something sweet late at night. Uh, mm. Can you give me uh, some munchies? Something carbohydrate, <laughs> you no, know, something starchy, something good, something sweet, something unhealthy that I can snack on at night. Oh my gosh, I am not the baker. I'm the one that literally has like brownies sitting next to me. Um, <laughs> Ooh, brownies do sound great. I, I, I'm like, I'll snack on a little bit of sweet things, but I am definitely not a baker. But my my mom and I, we usually will make like some caramel corn. So you just getting like, just you can get the popcorn that's coming in the little kernels and just cook that up. That's what my mom and I like to do. True, and true. You're just gonna make your caramel with like some sugar and some butter, reduce it down and then toss your popcorn in it. And that, that gets me through the day. Cause mm. I'm obsessed with the popcorn. That sounds nice. good. My daughter loves butter. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you had me a sugar. <laughs> That's amazing. Jazz, go ahead. Okay. Ooh, here comes. All right. Okay. Bird Are you ready hands. for this one? <laughs> so I noticed, you know, because I follow you on Instagram, I noticed that you posted a little picture the other day and you captioned it. I'm just going to leave this here. I felt good about that. <laughs> I felt so good about that. <laughs> Miss Mary Lou, I'm going to need you to spill the tea. So Cody and I, we, we talk, we're friendly. That's what I like to call us. We're, we're very friendly and we're okay. trying to figure it out. Okay. That's it. It's like, we used to talk when the show aired and then we stopped for a little bit and then we found each other and I was like, I guess we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. Nice. okay. I'm digging the outfit too, right. that yellow hat to the jacket. It was just a set. Right. Okay. First of all, let's pull it up again. The fit. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that. The fit. He had told me he was, like, he was bragging to all his friends and he was just like, I'm going to wear that pink suit to the, to the yellow suit. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, well, if he's going to wear the pink suit, I'm going to wear the yellow suit. And then he didn't even wear the pink suit. He just wore the pants. And I was like, huh. Dude. Like, oh, come on. Oh, come I'm sure he's cooked for you, right? Um, He has not cooked for me. No? No. Okay. Hmm. Put on the bucket list, hmm. maybe? Cody. Like, he's cooked on the show and I've eaten his food, but he hasn't cooked for me, so... He um, should just work on doing that. Okay. Cody, do that. Come on, Cody. Mm-hmm. Get together. Mm-mm-mm. Cody. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was just the, a burning question uh, that I had and, you know, a lot of our viewers had. Like, what's going on with uh, 
Cody Lou, as they like to call you guys. Man, Corey gave us that name and like it hasn't <laughs> dropped ever since. Mm. Every time we be together, she's like, Cody Lou. And I was like, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you got a second, Mary Lou, I'd love to play a quick game with all of our lovely guests and play a game yeah. called Over Under. Okay. Awesome. So it's real simple. I have a list of five items and these five items or locations, we'll just call them nouns. These nouns, I'm going to give you a list of five nouns and you tell me whether or not they're overrated, underrated, and then why. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's cool. keep it simple. We'll keep it foodie. All right. All right. Deep dish pizza. Ooh. Is it overrated, underrated, and then why? Um, I think it's overrated. Yes, yes. Do you're welcome pizza. to Chicago anytime. <laughs> Thank you. Because you, you're doing what everybody thinks is popular. So you're like, I'm going to have the deep dish pizza, but you give me a nice, like, thin crust pizza all the way. Mm -hmm. through. Yes, well, ma'am. Well, we know you're in Texas, so we're going to put you in on a quick secret. All right. Don't all tell right. anybody. But uh, Chicagoans like us three, we don't eat deep dish every day. We sell, we celebrate deep dish. We use it for like a party or a celebration, mm -hmm. a get together. If it's Thursday night and I'm alone, I'm getting myself a medium thin crust pizza. <laughs> Excuse mm. me, thin crust pizza. <laughs> yes. it's, so it's it's pretty common. Exactly. Plus, I'm just gonna fill up on all that starch, and I want more. <laughs> That's so well true. Said. Yeah. All right, let's do number two. Number two, it also has to do with food. It's a very popular dish here, Chicago style hot dog. Are these Chicago style hot dogs overrated, underrated, and then why? I think a Chicago style hot dog is underrated. I feel like you don't get praised for all the things that you put on top. Everybody just sees either a regular hot dog or a chili dog. But mm -hmm. a Chicago dog, there's there's so many layers of flavors, and I just really yes. appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Number three, gentlemen's clubs, strip clubs. Are they mm -hmm. overrated or underrated? And then oh, why? Hard. I feel like they're overrated. Because now that's where everybody's going. That's where everybody's going. You're not the fun true. person unless you go to the strip club after like midnight. My best friend called me the other day and he goes, Mary, I feel like seeing titties. And I said, all right, well, we'll go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I think they're overrated. Okay, that's what's up. Cool. It's great to get a perspective from Texas too. So it's great to hear that. All right. Next on the list, we have fitness clubs or fitness gyms. So, you know, with COVID, you know, this this one may be, uh, we may have to kick this one out of the list too now. Uh, do you feel like fitness clubs are necessary or can you get the most bang from your buck at home? I think you can get the most bang for your buck at home unless you don't know how to work out. For me, I have a trainer. I just saw him for the first time today, <laughs> but that's because I don't know how to work out. Like I haven't worked out since like 2012. Just don't. I don't know what oh, to do when I get in there. I need discipline. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's really awkward because it's like, first of all, you walk into the gym and then there's all these like not saying, you know, you. the men with your eyes, y'all be like with your prying eyes. So that already <laughs> makes it awkward when you're walking in. Women too. Kind of, Women to too. Out what machine to get on and you're like, uh, okay, how long do I do this? Uh, yeah, is I my form right? My, my feet go out like this sometimes. Is that right? He's like, keep them in. I said, but you said keep them out last time. Like that was that exercise. Is it that different? <laughs> Wow. See, so there's and you're looking grace. at the pictures on like the side of the machines because it shows you like what to do when you're like, do I do this like this or should I? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. It is. So it's awesome. great. It's great. So you're really you're really saying if I'm understanding this correctly, you know, to each their own. We all have our own, you yeah. know, um, we'll say styles, styles of learning. Yeah. You know, some people are more <laughs> yeah. tactile. Some people need direction. Absolutely. I mean, we all have YouTube, so YouTube can help us. Okay. I'm telling you, YouTube's you been like my university low key, you know, on the side. For real? So, yeah, I've learned a lot. <laughs> Seriously. I love that YouTube University. Yes. <laughs> Got a couple good recipes on our YouTube as well. <laughs> and, and then we're down to the list number five. So the last one on the list, we have podcasts. You know, I've seen a big increase in podcasts. Obviously, you know, we're on a live cast right now, too. Um, are podcasts overrated or are they underrated? And then why? I think podcasts are underrated because people still aren't ready to like get into them. So it's like if you're watching a, a YouTube video, it's really easy, but it's like, can I listen to what someone's saying and listen to an entire conversation? Am I ready to learn and be entertained that way instead of just constantly watching someone? No, exactly. Definitely great That's points. And, like podcasts. and it, it took me a hot minute to listen to podcasts. I'm like, people just talking and then I'm listening. I was like, I like this. Now you can watch. 
<laughs> yeah, it's great, you know, since we had a video. <laughs> it's always a plus. No, but I definitely want to agree with you, Mary Lou. Like podcasts are kind of like another way to, you know, consume content in, in the background. If I'm cleaning, I'm doing laundry, I got the headphones on, I'm, I'm handling my business. So it's a great way to get that information, you know, than just having to plop down in front of your laptop or sit in front of a tube like TV and just wait. But I, I like the convenience of the podcast personally. Would you ever be willing to do like a cooking uh, podcast? Yeah. Cool. That sounds fun as hell. Cool. Well, <laughs> it's a like, grill, take it to the next level. Well, we, 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 we can talk you. off air. We can talk <laughs> off air. We can set you up with an outline if you like. Oh, really? That's yeah, so nice. Got you. Yes, of course. Yeah. We got you. And yeah, we got a platform for you. For sure. That's um, awesome. Thanks, guys. This is big. And I just want to give you a big, big, big thank you from the Wake Up and Win show, myself included. Yes. Again, this was great having you pleasure. on the show. Oh, you were phenomenal. Thank you. Seriously, amazing. this is like surreal right now. So, yes, yeah. thank you so much for joining us today. Like, uh, day made, check, check, <laughs> day made. Cool. Well, you're Love welcome it. here anytime you want. Um, you know, our home is your home. And if you're up in Chicago, we're gonna hook you up with a free pizza courtesy for one of our sponsors, Home Team Ooh, Pizza. Yes. yes, so uh, if you're ever in Chicago land area, hit us up. We got you with a free pizza for sure. I will. Cool, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yay. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Yes. Thank you so much, Mary Lou. You're welcome. Thank you. You guys have a great day, too. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.